Lars, we're here in San Diego and you're living in the vehicle behind us. Tell me about it. Yeah, it all started about October 2010 when I got laid off after five years working with a rental car agency down in uh, downtown San Diego airport. Uh, the recession hit, wasn't able to find work. Uh, was on unemployment, getting federal extensions with that. Uh, enough to get by and not pay rent. So uh, I met somebody, told me about this program, Dreams for Change, and I've uh, been working temp jobs off and on and uh, staying here when needed. And you know, it's a safe place to be. So, so what was it like your first night homeless, living in a car? It was like raining, you know, and scary. I, I didn't know where to go. I was sitting in the car up in Point Loma, you know, and just kind of crouched down hoping no one sees you and whatnot. And then some other guy told me about sleeping over in a bonds over in Midway in Point Loma. You know, the security guard leaves at 10 o'clock, you know, and that was kind of weird. And just like, yeah, this is crazy, you know. And then some guy told me about this program and I left that and just, you know, stuck with this and tried to, you know, go from there. We need more places that like we were talking about earlier, the uh, for mobile homeless, one of the biggest needs is a safe place to park. Yeah, because you can run into confrontations with the San Diego PD about illegal lodging, um, habitation they call it. Um, also, you can get issues with people showing up to your car, you know, God knows what could right. happen, you know. So a safe place like this to park and get situated, get your benefits you need, social security, unemployment, to get your feet back out on yeah. the ground and find housing. And, and look for work. You're working. Uh, yeah, I had an interview today and it looks like the economy is starting to pick up and as soon as I get that full-time permanent job, get a few paychecks here and I should be good to go. Awesome. Um, if you had three wishes, what would they be? Uh, to get a job, get a home, and find a good girl to be with. <laughs> thank you very much for talking. To me. All right, thank you, sir.